and other Power Mix Weekend right now. Only on Power 98.3. And I was always kind of like that shy, timid girl who never caused any issues. I was just kind of doing my homework, turning in, and that was it. <laughs> Getting so, A's. I mean, I wasn't like an A student, but I was an A and B student because my mom was like, give me A's and B's, no C's. You're not worth a C. Do you have any siblings you're going to school with? Or? I have two siblings. My sister were nine years apart and my brother were 13 years apart. You came out to high school out here. What, what was the reason for y'all moving? Family. My aunt was getting married, newlywed. They wanted to buy a house. And it was obviously a lot cheaper here than California. Mm -hmm. We're very close. Like, we don't have a huge Latino family. We're very immediate. We're very small. Everybody kind of started making their way out here <laughs> and following us. Because my mom is like, the out, of all the sitter, <laughs> out of all of the sisters, like, everybody goes to my mom. <laughs> so all my aunts started coming out here. Hey, in middle school, was there a point, you know, when we go through middle school, like, it's just awkward or whatever. Was there anything that you could think of, you just, like, vividly remember about, like, middle school or anything? that you started like noticing about yourself or like noticing about others or like something you learned about yourself? I was always the leader. Oh really? Um, in Miss doing like, your homework on the side, always the leader? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, when it came to the classroom, I never caused any issues. It was funny because when it's like classrooms, I was very antisocial. Like in the classroom, I was like focused and just, you know, to my own. I never caused problems. I was like that annoying kid that the teachers liked because they were always just so nice. You know, like that was me when it was when it was with the teachers. But that has a lot to do with my mom. Like my mom's always been like, be respectful. Don't do this, don't do that. And growing up, she was like, you cannot leave my side until I say so. You know what I mean? Very obedient, that was my mom. So to me, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna sit here. But when I was with my group of friends, I was very social. And that's something that I've always known about myself is that whenever we play a game or this and that, I'd be the first one to take charge. So I was always a leader. Not in a bad way. No, not, not in a bad way. way. No, not <laughs> in a bad way. We can go egg this house real quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't like a troublemaker. I wasn't rebellious. I was definitely always leading my friends. And to this day, I can tell I still am. And it's funny because my mom, the other day, we were having this conversation. I was like, I really want to make sure that as I grow in this industry, I want to set a good example. Being the oldest in my family, I have to set a good example for my sister, for my brother. Mm. Being a woman in this industry. I a brown woman in this industry. A I brown know. woman, a brown woman in this industry. Mm -hmm. I went to college, I got my education. I have a voice, I do this. Take advantage of that, you know, and, and really try to represent the women in the best light possible. And I was telling her that, and she was like, Catherine, since you were little, you've always been a leader, you know? And it's funny, and I'm like, that is, that's kind of true. <laughs> well, at least tell me the first time you got in trouble, and what was it for? I called the boy a bad name. <laughs> Um, She's like, I'm still mad about it right now. I, still I got called him and <laughs> in uh, in the fourth grade, and everybody's like, ooh, ooh. and I was like, hold oh, on, I'm sorry. Gotta fight you. Roll up soon as I'm rolling. Security better get with the program. Too deep, ain't nowhere to stand. So ain't nowhere to land. You remind me of something missing, missus. You got my full attention. Listen, let go of the tension. If I get a minute, I put you back. Yeah. 